Hello internet, we both know why you're here. This is a siren inspired look. To get started, we're using this thermoplastic. I use a brand called Instamorph. Thermoplastic is tiny uh, plastic beads that when you put them into hot water, they go from white to clear. And once they go clear, they're completely moldable. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some into the water, get them nice and clear. We're going to uh, make like kind of a strip out of these beads. And then while it's still moldable, I pushed it up against my teeth and just kind of let it settle there. And you'll know that it's pretty well set once it starts to go white. And then once it's set white, we have our base. So then you heat up some more of the beads and you just take little pieces of them and you begin to shape them into really sharp tooth shapes. Uh, if you're like me, you'll probably end up needing to use some scissors to get them really sharp. Also the, the end that isn't the pointy tooth end, I made a little bit flat. Um, I don't have mouth safe glue, so what we're going to do is we're going to dunk that kind of skinnier, flatter end into the hot water, and while it's still really soft and moldable and clear, we're going to push it just right up against uh, the tooth base that we made. And if you push hard enough, it should basically just melt onto your base. And we're going to do that for as many teeth as we want. Once those are set, I'm using alcohol paints. This is the Skin Illustrator Flesh Tone Palette. Um, I tried to start out with some coral and some red tones for the gums. Um, I definitely didn't want these to be just plain white because I feel like sireny teeth aren't just like going to be this really pretty celebrity white. Um, so what I ended up doing is I started out with some uh, some green and uh, I did like an even coat of green all over and then I eventually started to uh, kind of layer on some blue onto the bottom parts of the teeth. The thing with alcohol paints is uh, you need to do multiple washes. Like it, you're not gonna start out with a really strong pigment like you would with, with water paints. Um, a lot of alcohol paints is layering. So that's why we're just kind of patiently layering on this green. And then we start putting on that blue on the bottom. I did also consider adding some brown to it just because I wanted them to look like dirty or almost rotting and stuff, but um, I ended up just doing a really light wash of brown on some of the teeth, but for the most part it was, uh, it was this green and it was this blue color. I also added more of a blood red to the gums because I almost wanted them to look like swollen and irritated. So now it's time to deal with the face. I started by putting Prosade on my cheek. What we're going to use for our gills are, is going to be a scar wax. This is Maron uh, Sin Wax. And you're going to want uh, Vaseline and your scar wax and a metal spatula. And uh, make sure you coat your fingers and any tools that you're using with this Vaseline because scar wax will stick to anything. Um, I put the scar wax on my cheek in kind of this worm shape. And then I used a clay sculpting tool, which is you know the round thing right there to smooth it into my skin. And then I used my metal spatula to lift the bottom. And then I did this for a second layer. You could also put this on without the prosade underneath, but I like having that being extra secure, uh, which is why I always put down a prosade base before I put down my scar wax. Then I took some liquid latex on a makeup sponge and I put that along the top of it. Um, this is to help blend the edge, but it's also to give it another anchor onto your skin so that it doesn't fall off. And I did that for just a couple of layers. This liquid latex is really watery. So then I used some Maron Loose Setting Powder and a small fluffy brush. And I powdered basically this entire thing. Um, one reason being that I'm trying to kind of get rid of the stickiness from the Vaseline because we're going to put on face paints and face paints are going to behave differently on an oily surface than it will on your skin. I also did it on the liquid latex uh, just so that I wouldn't have to worry about anything that I'm using like sticking to it because liquid latex once it's dry is also very sticky. And if you accidentally make a fold, then the fold will immediately cling to itself. So now I'm using Maron Paradise paints in teal and I'm just putting that all along my face and my neck. 
Once that's set, I'm using the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, and this is just the purple shade in that, and I put that all along my lid. And then there's more of a neon pink shade that I'm putting in there. Now I'm using a Ben Nye paint in blue, and this is a stipple sponge, and I'm basically doing sort of a, a contour with this so we have some additional texture and whatnot. Um, so I did that all on my forehead, along my nose, along my T-zone. I also took that same Ben Nye blue shade and I put it on my lips so our lips just aren't blended into the rest of our face. For some different texture, I took one of my other makeup sponges and I kind of tore the end of it so it was really ragged and I did sort of like neck shading using that really ragged end. And then I took kind of a small brush and just some more of that purple eyeshadow and I shaded underneath the gills just so we get a bit more dimension. I realized that I could see the edge more than I wanted to, so then I went back in with the stipple sponge and I, I used it to kind of blend out those gills a bit as well. I went in with a white Marin Paradise paints, and this is the Cryolin number no. one brush, and I put the white just along like the edges of the gills. And then I got another kind of torn up, textured uh, makeup sponge, and I added some highlights using that, uh, that texture sponge with the white Marin paints. used a fluffy brush to go ahead and fan out more of that purple eyeshadow, added some lashes, popped in our teeth, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been PT Bar Pun for HalloweenMakeup.com. Whatever day it is that you're seeing this, I hope you're having a good one, and I will see you the next time I do video stuff. Bye.